Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am going to show you the planners that I have. On Black Friday I ordered another Erin Condren. Last year I did sort of lose my mojo for planning so I did sell my other Erin Condren but I really miss it. What really gets me going is seeing other people planning. Oh my god it just brings everything back that I really want to start planning again. So the planners that I have got, two of them are useful, one I'm thinking about it. This is an ug a well, <clears throat> start again. This is a ugly dory and I got this off Etsy. Love it. I mean, there's just no words to describe how much I love this traveller's notebook. But I did lose my mojo for point stuff in here, but when I get the Erin Condren, I am thinking of starting to plan in here again. So I'll go through this one first. The second one I have, these, the next two are from Paper Chase and the, it's this one. I absolutely love this. Uh, this here was off a birthday card and I just glued it on and I just think it goes really nice with the colours. I've just decorated it a little bit on top just to, you know, jazz it up a little bit. But yeah, I'll show you that one in a minute. It's got little dandelies on the bottom. <laughs> and my third one, I think this is a, a B6, I think. I don't know, I'm no good on these. And this one I got not so long ago. And again, I just decorated the front of it with a, another birthday card and then I just put some washi tape down here. It personalizes things and it's another way to save them birthday cards that, that you really like obviously this one was off my mum because it says daughter so yeah i will just organize my table and uh, i will meet you down there <laughs> okay so as you can see again i've done no decorating on the outside so inside there is just a few strings inside of there in case i need some more and then I just did a little bit of card, just for some colour, really. Uh, oh, look at that. I don't know what that's off. That's weird. I've not noticed that before. It's pink. So, my first dashboard, should I say, is from Pinterest. I absolutely love, love, love this wolf. And this is by uh, Luna... Oh, my God. LunarRainInTattoos.com uh, but I, I made this little pouch and I've just I opened it up at the top and then I put two pictures in there but I, I have got this in my bigger one as well and then over I have got this beautiful picture here and I really can't read what that says some some other Gabrielle so beautiful it just captures the essence of cold weather perfectly these books I get from the range and they're about 75 pence each and these are some new ones I've put in and they're just perfect for the this size traveling traveler's notebook. This is another phrase that I got off um, Pinterest. You will be exactly as happy as you decide to be. And again, this is the other side of what I made just to put some things inside and then this is girly M it says there it's just another girl with a little pussycat this is a bit of um, vellum acetate vellum I can never remember which one it is but I've got a really big pack and it's got different like scenes on it and there's uh, some black some white and it's just really pretty I struggle to vi find this kind of stuff in normal shops this is a printable from Annie Plans printables and I did have to cut it down because I got the wrong size it's just 2017 to 18 and then I did start sort of planning everything in this uh, to the point where it got a bit full so I stopped that and I've just literally put birthdays in this and stuff so that's how that's going to stay the back side of that acetate I'm pretty sure it's acetate now this I made myself as well and I was quite chuffed that I made it. The card is from some cardstock I got from Skegness. 
and I just cut it all up and I put my own little pockets in there and then I laminated it. I did make a little boo-boo there when, with the lamination because it was a, obviously that's a little bit too uh, tall so it's creased the paper and just ruined that one. And then I stuck that that colour card on the back and in here I just put some pictures that I used to keep in my purse which um, since I changed my purse they don't fit in now so I thought it'd be nice just to keep them in my traveller's notebook. Uh, this is last January's uh, planning stuff and all I've done is printed it out again. I know this part doesn't match for this year's dates in 2018. Um, but this is what I would be planning on again just for putting anything down and then putting it into my Erin Condren. So I've just got a bit of white out and I've just got all the dates off. And then I can put my own date dots on and just work it that way. I just think it's a bit cheaper doing it this way than keep on buying them because when you've got two hobbies, it can get rather expensive. So yeah, it's just a, a quick and easy way to recycle, shall we say. So you've just seen the, the back end of this. Um, these nails are really liked and I just needed something else to put in my traveler's notebook. So I printed these out and I put a nice edge on there and laminated them. This is just because I really don't know why. <laughs> this is another book from um, the range and I did my hair really quick one day and my husband says that looks really nice so I took a picture and I've never been able to do this messy bun again and I just thought it was so nice so <laughs> I laminated there as well. And then there's just some more nails on the back of that. I mean, if you can't personalise your own traveller's notebook to things that you like, then, you know, there's something wrong somewhere. But I just really like the ones that are in this. And I think I might do more. And this is just another bit of card just to balance it out. So, yeah, that is my traveller's notebook. I will definitely be jazzing that up as time goes by. Okay, so on to this one. These uh, ribbons I got from a present I got from my stepdaughter, so I decided to keep them. I thought they were really nice. As I've, as I've already said, this was off a birthday card, and it's just so pretty. I absolutely love that. So inside this one I did decorate a little bit. These here are from the same place I got the cardstock from, from Skegness. I love these girls, they're just so pretty. And then this cardstock here is from a book you can get from the works and it's good. they do, depending on what time of year we're on, they do do different kinds of uh, cards all in a pack and they're quite cheap. Some doilies in there just to give it a little bit of, um, what's the word I'm after, colour. And I just tied these ribbons on, on one of the binders. This paper clip here came like that. This was from Hobbycraft, and then I got a part of an earring set, so I just put a bit of acrylic in between and just stuck that on. So that literally goes on here and stops in there. This again was part of a Christmas card last year. So I cut that down, laminated it and put it in. It just saves money from buying them from other places. And then obviously on the back here it says, hope you share a really wonderful time. Just think it's really pretty. This here is my puppy dog, her name's Braid. And I just did some editing. I know a bowl's in the background, but this was not long after she had a stroke. She's still alive, uh, but I just thought I would start taking more pictures of her because I mean, she's 86 in dog years now. So yeah, that's my baby. Um, I've just got, well, this I made, again, um, <laughs> nothing in it yet. I've just got some of this paper that I got off Pinterest. If you sign up to some people's newsletters, they do print free printables every month, and this was part of theirs. Cardstock, just some more things from the same place I got the other stuff from Skegness. The next part of this is my personal thoughts, my diary type thing and what all I've been doing on the bottom of each one is putting some washi tape 
and then like a today sticker or a to do sticker just something to make it more pretty on these just normal pieces of paper so I have got loads of these in here which I, to be honest I won't be showing you I also do a little bits of tippings in here as well when Alex had his surgery I just uh, took some pictures laminated them and then put them in so the back of this paper is just some more cardstock with some more ladies uh, this is what I've been using at the moment for planning the weeks and then I've been putting them in my big planner all I do is just put jot down some things what I've been doing during the day and then these I got off Etsy you can find all sorts on Etsy guys and these fit perfectly and you can get the bo bottom washi in them this folder I got from Paper Chase the same time as I bought this and I just keep some uh, washi on here I've seen other people do this when they put them on like a bit of acetate or something it just keeps them nice in your planner this again is another birthday card and I just put some other ephemera on there and laminated it and then on the back of that this is glow in the dark it's so cool and then this is another quote off Pinterest it says it takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to your enemies but just as much to stand up to your friends and obviously this quote I solemnly swear I'm up to no good a bit more uh, acetate at the back and in here I uh, this used to be in my traveler's notebook but when we were back and forth with Alex I decided to take this with me just so I've got some pictures of my grandson with me this uh, are the little things that I use on the bottom of every page when I write and this was from Specsavers um, I am I have got a golden ticket guys <laughs> aren't I lucky that's just to say that I can have 50% off some glasses if I decide to have any more yay me and then this pen I got from paper chase I got two of these and they're just the different colored ones so yeah that is this that is that book done okay so this one is the one that I plan in in this side I've put just put some stickers in there some are from Pinterest what you can get for free which is that one and that one these are got off Etsy Etsy and Etsy these are all printables by the way it's very rare to buy anything any kits anyway that are not printables so again this is a birthday card off my mom and I've just put in there what she wrote because I thought that was really nice these paper clips I got from she was paper chase and there was like eight in a pack I want to paid a lot for them because I don't uh, but they were just really sturdy so I just thought it was just pretty to put one on there then I just stuck a bit of black cardstock just to give it a bit of strength and then I did the nice edges and then I laminated it this little pocket here um, I made again and this is where I keep all of my kits my mum actually made these bows which I thought was pretty nice of her and then she gave them to me this is a piece of cardstock which I laminated it's a bit different I have got one that you just stick on and then I put this on the back side of when I started to plan now these are printables from Etsy the same goes for the paper as well that this is a printable off Etsy and because it's not got a sidebar as such I make my own out of some uh, card so I just do it as I would a normal sidebar so yeah this is a back to school type, type kit but I like I love the colour so much so I literally kept out the uh, back to school rubbish because I don't go to school um, and put that down but again because it's printables you can just keep printing it out and using it and that's what I'm going to do in my Erin Condren just to save a bit of money this one again is a printable from Etsy I love this one it is so pretty again this one this week was from Alex's surgery this was from 13th to the 18th of November so we're still pretty oh got a speeding ticket as well 
joy joy. This is sort of a, a page flag and this is another birthday card. This was off my son and because he is very sarcastic he put the number 50 there, uh, mom 50, spe more special than ever. So out of the same birthday card I cut this out and I just glued that on because there's no way I'm keeping that number 50 on. And over on the back this is from Har he's put Harley haha ha, and Harley just scribbled on it for my birthday card. So I really really wanted to keep this. So I just cut it out, did all the whatever I got to do, laminated it, punched a hole at the top there and I just put this little dangly thing. These are from Claire's and yeah that is my page flag. This is the week I have just done and then what I've done here is just paper clip the next week's kit on. Again there's the the wolf but a little bit bigger. Now this I loved, I've got to say I love this. My stepdaughter gave me a present for my birthday and the bag was so cute that I wanted to try and save the bag. So on the bag were these two butterflies. So I cut them out and stuck them to this green card because it just, I think the green just lifts the butterflies and really shows them off. Then from the card I made this underneath so the stuff can go in. Then I laminated the card, just put slits in the green holder things here, put some holes in it and then I stuck these butterflies on and I laminated the butterflies as well just so I can protect everything and I just thought for me that is really good I'm, I, my, my imagination is not that brilliant so for me to think of something like this is um, I was really impressed so <laughs> I just put some stickers in there I've got nothing on the other side yet this is this or this well some acetate. This came with the planner so I kept it in and then here I just keep some notes. This is everything what I got from uh, Black Friday. These came with, with the planner anyway so I just thought I'd keep them in and then in the back here I keep all my other stickers that I have got from Etsy. This is from Pinterest that was a free one. Etsy, Etsy, Pinterest, Etsy. These are me little to do's and the days of the week and me numbers and then some more of them. Oh and I got these from Paper Chase as well. The pen again I am using it is a Pilot Feed GP41.0 and again that's the same one as the other one. The only reason I got two is because the blue that I like to use ran out so I really like the blue so I just bought one of them. So yeah guys, them are my planners. I really hope you enjoyed this talk through of the ones that I'm using at the moment. Uh, when I get my Erin Condren, I will start planning in that one as well. Thank you so much for watching guys. If there's any questions, please leave them below and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.